Hey there, this is Heather with TwoBlooms.com and welcome to my channel where I share simple, practical, and easy ways to edit your portraits in Lightroom. And today I'm going to show you how to enhance eyes, change the color, add exposure, and more sharpness right here in Lightroom with just a few clicks. So I already have this photo edited using my Storyteller preset, so we're going to just dive right in to the eye tutorial. Now I'm going to be focusing on using this little tool over here, the masking tool. Now, if you do not have the masking tool, you're probably in an older version of Lightroom, which is totally fine. The same concepts that I'm going to be showing you, you can use in older versions. You're just going to be choosing the brush tool, okay? So if at any point during this tutorial, you're finding it hard to follow along because the, the interface looks a little different, I'm going to leave a link to another brush tutorial below for you to get caught up on. Okay, so the eyes. We are going to be focusing on those. They look great already, but maybe we want to brighten them. Maybe we want to sharpen them a bit more, maybe add some clarity. Now, what I love about this feature is that you can stack masks, brush masks, and delete them if needed, or hide them if needed, and it's a really, really great tool to use, utilize. So if you don't have the current version of Lightroom, I highly recommend updating because this is really, really helpful. Okay, so right now we have a new mask and a new brush. So you can come over here to the settings. You're gonna see all these settings down here, all these sliders. Maybe we just want to increase the exposure, brighten them a little bit. So I'm going to grab the exposure slider and bring it up. And I'm also going to adjust my brush. I'm just using this scroller um, on my mouse, but you can also change the size over here. So this looks pretty good. I'm just going to go over the inner eye area and shows you showing you that it is taking up the exposure just in that eye. Now this might look like a little much, a little over processed, which we don't want. We don't want our eyes looking fake or people's eyes looking like vampires or anything, any kind of mythical creature. Maybe you do, but for this instance, I do not. So I don't wanna overdo it with the exposure. So that looks pretty good. Now maybe you want to add some clarity. Well, you could change the clarity slider over here, but that is going to change the overall look of the complete brush. So what I recommend is to create a new mask and a new brush. This way, if you wanna change something down the road, it's easier to take away um, than it is to add all of these in the same brush, okay? So, I'm going to add some clarity to this brush, not too much. And I'm just gonna go over the eye area, just kind of like deepens the eye a little bit, maybe go over the, the eyelashes. Kinda makes them stand out and look a little bit more bold. Yeah, so that looks pretty good. And after I've added some clarity, it might wanna go back to the first mask, the exposure, and just Increase the exposure just a little bit. Yeah, that looks good. Um, and then maybe you wanna, you know, adjust the color. Maybe you wanna make these eyes more blue or more green or more hazel. So I'm going to click on create new mask because we don't want to adjust the mask that we've already made. Click on brush again and scroll down to this little color box. Right now, there is no color that is chosen. So what you can do is get this little eyedropper and choose any color that you want. So maybe we wanted to add more blueness to the eyes. We are going to, don't know why that's not working. Let's try this again. Create new mask, brush, color is selected. There we go. For some reason, my brush went away. Okay, so we're just gonna go over the area that we want the blue applied to, and you can see how the color is being subtly changed. Very nice. If you want it more dramatic, 
when the mask is chosen, you can just move your eyedropper and it, you can choose any color that you want. Purple, red, orange, yellow, even some turquoise or aqua there, um, which might be a little much. So I recommend doing something a little bit more subtle. So this looks pretty good. Yeah, I like that. Okay. And then, you know, if you ever need to highlight the mask and see where it's been shown, if you missed any spots, you can show overlay and just go over the areas that you missed. Okay. And choosing a smaller brush will be even better because you can get more detail. Okay. So there we have it. I'm going to click on done so you can see the before and after before and after the preset and a little bit of eye adjustments, not too crazy, not too much. It just really enhances them and makes them pop. You can do the, as much as you want or as little as you want. This is fully at your discretion. So let's say that you've done this, you really like it, but you want to take that blue color out because you realize that's not really what the kid's eyes look like. Okay, so we're going to go back to masking and highlight the mask that you want and choose these three little dots. It's like this little drop down menu and you can choose to hide it and it's going to show that it's hidden and you can quickly unhide it or you can delete it altogether. I choose just hiding it because you might want to go back and and you know reapply that and it'll be super easy to do. All right so that's about it. Um, if you found this tutorial helpful, uh, make sure that you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and check out my blog for even more Lightroom tutorials. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.